Welcome back to the NFM High School Football Preview Show. Talking Gardner Edgerton now with head coach Jesse Owen and Spencer Easley, the defensive end. Guys, thank you very much for joining us, and I know you're looking forward to another season, right? Yes, thanks for having us, Leif. We're Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. Spencer, tell me what, what, what this offseason has been like preparing for this season. What's the mood of the, the, the players at Gardner Edgerton right now? Uh, so, during this offseason, every day, it's just been a grind. Uh, we have great coaches, uh, great uh, strength and conditioning coach also um, as far as the players everyone everyone's been working hard and you know just doing football stuff coach when you come off and congratulations on making it to the state championship game and I love the fact that you went for two you went for the win uh, you came out just a little bit short but well, I'm glad you I'm glad you love it I do love it. I, I do I, I, I love it I love the confidence that you have in your team but when you think about it you've got one play to win a state championship you would you would take that almost any time I would think as a, as, a, as a head coach wouldn't you oh absolutely if you would have told us that going into the season we would have said you know sign us up so uh, you know uh, Live or die in that moment. Yeah, but you, you know, so. must be awfully, awfully proud of your team and the, oh. the season you guys had last year. And how does that carry over in, yeah. into, into this year? Incredibly proud of the team. Uh, I was very happy for the community. It was a great experience. You know, when you make it that far, especially being from a one high school uh, community, the town shuts down. And our town painted Emporia blue and white, and it was a great experience for everyone, cheerleaders, band, you know, the parents, not just the football team. And so um, even though it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to, it was still a great experience. And uh, learning how to get back up after you fall short and get knocked back down, that's kind of a part of life. And one of the things we try to teach through sports. So there was a good, uh, good lesson in that, even though it was a sour one. We're excited for this season, uh, but we're at the bottom of the summit, you know, like everyone else. So there's no <laughs> shortcuts back to the top, so. Spencer, talk a little bit about that experience and what that was like to, to make a run all the way to the state championship game last year and, and have the school and the community behind you. Um, I, me personally, I really liked it, and I know that the other players did too. Um, just having that experience of you know, going all the way to state was really fun and being able to compete with uh, your friends and then also having your family and then other students just there to support you. Um, it was just overall just really good experience, and I'm excited for this year to do the same thing. You talk about starting at the bottom of the summit, and you've got a tough schedule, as you know. I mean, Mill Valley's sitting there on, on that schedule as well. I mean, what, that, that grind that you go through uh, through the season, how does that prepare you for the, for the postseason? Well, I think, it, I think it does just that. It prepares you because you see the best of the best, at least for, you know, who we play. And our league is very good. And, you know, you've got the usual suspects like the Mill Valleys and the Olathe Norse. Yep. But then there's several other teams in our league that are really quality teams, are coached very well, and so um, it's a it's a challenging schedule. We play the same schedule as we did last year, and uh, really I could go week by week and point out some challenges that I I foresee coming that each of those teams are going to present. But uh, you know the idea is just a little bit over a long period of time and getting better, so that we're playing the you know our best ball in November, and uh, so. We're excited for the for the opportunity to do it again. You lose some players on defense. Is that does that does that make the the defensive returners stand up a little taller, a little little faster to start the season, knowing that you've you've got some some holes to fill? Yeah, uh, I think that some of our players definitely step up um, and then fill the role of those seniors who left last year. And I'm really excited for the, you know watch them play and see what they can do. Coach, what's what's the strength of this team? What do you like about this team as you start the season? Well, I love guys like Spencer. Yeah. You know, Spencer's a leader on defense. Take a bunch of him, wouldn't you? Um, I'd take a bunch of him. Uh, last year, our front seven was really good on defense. Um, we returned Spencer and, and three really good secondary players. Uh, the Porter twins, Cameron and Eli, and Randy Singleton. Um, our secondary was tremendous last year. We set a school record with interceptions. The big question mark is our front seven. You know, and aside from Spencer, are those other guys going to be able to step up and, and can we stop the run? Um, so that's a big question mark. The jury's out. You know, we're going to have to prove that. Offensively, we return seven starters, uh, three starters up front. Um, we return our quarterback and, and a couple running backs and a couple wide receivers. So offensively, hopefully we'll kind of have a head start uh, out of the gates compared to last year. Um, but uh, we do lose some really good offensive players. Uh, you know, the four that we lost were really good. So offense probably has 
a little edge on the defense right now, but uh, we'll see. When you, you make it to a state championship game, does, does that help raise the standard that you're trying to set at a program and, and guys know that, okay, this is the level that we want to play at? Does, does that help you as you start the, the, the preseason program and then head into camp and, uh, before the school year? Absolutely, uh, absolutely, and it should, right? Success yeah. breeds success, uh, but at the same time, like I said, we're, we're starting at the bottom. Yeah. And so uh, that, that message and, and, uh, has to continually be emphasized with the kids. And, and our kids understand that. It's not that they don't, but uh, you can never take for granted that they get it. And so we've got to remind them that it's a new season. Uh, even though our schedule's the same, the teams that we're going to play are a little bit different. They've had some roster turnover. And so, um, yeah, we've got to go out and, and, and take it week by week. Spencer, I noticed when, when some of the guys come through for the show, you've seen some of the guys oh, yeah. in, in summer ball. Yeah. What, 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 tell me what that's like to, to compete during the summer and see the guys and then know that oh, you may not see these guys, but you're, you're going to see teams similar to them throughout throughout the year. It's got to be fun to, to compete against them in the summertime. Yeah, we had a, I think we had two scrimmages. Uh, both of them were really fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know, just playing ball is always fun. Yeah. Coach, do you get a sense in the, in the summertime of what, what this team is about? Or does it really take until you start the, the camp practices and, and get going to know what you really have? What, what, do you, what do you learn from the summer programs? A little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, you, you learn a little bit. Uh, you kind of know what you have coming back with guys like Spencer. But then there's a lot of uh, young, unproven guys that, that uh, have the ability. They're just kind of inexperienced. And so uh, working during the summer gets them going in the right direction. But honestly, you don't know until they're really put against the fire. Yeah. You know, a scrimmage is a scrimmage. Uh, the intensity and speed of things is, is different when you're playing for keeps. And so, you know, usually a, around week three, I've found over the years it takes you till about week three to kind of solidify the entire lineup and where you need everyone. And, and uh, so. But it, but it certainly, the summer certainly is a big part of that process. But that must be the fun part of, of being a coach too, is seeing guys that maybe you don't know much about in the summertime, maybe you weren't sure about in the scrimmage, and then the lights come on and they start playing, and you go, oh, okay, we, we, we may have a player here. I'm sure that happens all the time. It happens every year. Yeah. And uh, that's very uh, gratifying, and you're always happy for that young man. And, and uh, so hopefully, we have a few of those, those situations <laughs> unfold this year. Spencer, do you remember your kind of welcome to high school football moment? Was there, was there a time when you thought, okay, I, I, be, I belong here. I, I, I feel like I can play with these guys. Uh, yeah, I, definitely last year. It was my first year starting and uh, definitely the first game, you know, and just playing with other people and starting to win games as the season went on. I definitely felt like I could, you know, make it there and keep playing ball. I want to compliment Spencer. He is one of the best practice players I've ever been around. And his motor is unbelievable. And he, from a leadership standpoint, he helped set a pace and a tone in practice for the other guys. He did that last year as an underclassman. Uh, but as a senior now, he's, he's showing those younger guys, hey, this is how we do it. And so that's, that's just a credit to who he is as a person. And he's a very good student. He's that way in, in the classroom as well. And so, um, it's, it was a, it was a no brainer when, when we got invited to do this, to bring a player, uh, it was a, no doubt Spencer was our guy. I've heard coaches say it's a blessing when your best player is your best practice player as 100%. well, just because it, it sets the tone, like you said, and, and, the, and that, that just drives everybody else to know that's the level we got to play at. A big time believer in that. I, I don't think your team can achieve what the team's capable of achieving. Uh, and that ceiling always varies from year to year if your best players are not your best practice players. They, they, they have to be because that sets the tone for those guys that maybe are not quite as good, but now all of a sudden, I mean, Michael Jordan's the epitome of that. You know, he's the, he's the best example, so absolutely. Coach, you're a longtime resident of the area. You've, you played played in that league, basically. Yep. What was it like for you to, yep. to see those teams again as a head coach? Did you have a, an inkling as you're playing at Olathe North for one of the great coaches in our time, and Gene Weir, that maybe you would be on that sideline someday, that you, that you would be a coach? Well, yes and no. You know, I, I, knew, um, I knew going into my senior year that I wanted to pursue education and be a coach. And, and, but that was more so for the, the impact that Coach Weir, uh, Coach Callahan, Coach Jones, Coach Beggs, Coach Calder, Coach Sparks. I had tons of mentors in my life 
And so I knew I wanted to pursue that path because uh, I wanted to be in those shoes mm -hmm. one day for guys like Spencer. I wasn't necessarily thinking of it from a competitive football standpoint. Uh, but yeah, the things have uh, come full circle and I'm very, uh, very honored and privileged uh, to be a coach and to serve kids and I'm in a great spot. Um, our administration in Gardner has been outstanding at the district and building level. Um, we have great alignment out there. Everyone's on the same page. They're very supportive. And so I'm very, I'm a very lucky man and, I, and, I, and I'm in a good spot. And uh, I'm a resident of the community. Our family's lived in Gardner Edgerton for 17 years. And so um, it's home, it's home for us. It's home for my boy who's sitting over there. And so just very, very happy to be in the community. Very happy to be affiliated with the Sunflower League which is, you know, every year, every year in the state of Kansas, it's, if, if it's not the best league, it's, it's right there, <laughs> you know, um, so just very humbled. Yeah, we're lucky to have you. Coach, yeah. thank you very much. Spencer, good luck to you guys this season. We'll look forward to seeing it. Thanks for having us, Leaf. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you. We'll be back with more on the NFM High School Football Preview Show. Dion Clisso will join us in studio right after this.